Here's a young lady who's making her first appearance for three years, for reasons we may talk about later. I'm delighted she's given me the opportunity of saying, welcome back, Lena Zavaroni. Glad that's over. I sure am. <laughs> yeah, she said, well, I'm going to be very nervous okay. about that. Look, I'm, I'm very happy that you're here with us. Oh, I'm so happy too. C can yeah. I ask you a few things about your career? Sure. In this very studio here at Thames, in fact, not this one, number two next door, you started, didn't you? That's right. This was the very first place that I ever sang, well, publicly. Opportunity in... Knocks. Yes, that's right. How many times did you win that? Um, I think it was about five times. Mm -hmm. You went from Opportunity Knox uh, onto things that people dream about, appearing with Frank Sinatra in Hollywood at the age of... Um, I was about 
Ten. Ten. <laughs> and, and apparently there's a... I was having a little chat with her over a cup of tea just before we came on. She said to me, um, my manager was in, was in love with Frank Sinatra. <laughs> and you better explain that, because it... You would, we, what happened? You went up to Frank Sinatra. Well... And no, we don't normally dare approach him, but you being a cheeky little lass... <laughs> well, what happened was, I mean, I didn't know who Frank Sinatra was. You'd never heard and of him? And that's the God's honest truth. I swear in my life. <laughs> I didn't know who he was. You didn't I, tell him, did you? No! <laughs> What I did was I just ran up to him and I started pulling his sleeve and I said, come and meet my manager, she's in love with you. And he just looked at me and he says, must be a funny manager. <laughs> I said, is that she? Right, let's take you from, uh, from a meeting with Frank Sinatra from Hollywood and all those things that you did at the age of nine years of age. Yeah. You came back, you did uh, a lot of recording, you did some touring That's and right. then progressed through to your own, tele in fact, three television series. Yep. That's right. And then yeah. things started to go a little wrong. A little wrong. And yeah. you got a problem. That's right. Yeah. And a, a very serious problem. Mm. Do you want to talk about that? I don't mind. I don't mind. Well. It was just, you know, it was a phase I think I was going through. And I think when you're going through adolescence, you know, you're very unsure of yourself. And you don't know which direction to take, which way you're going, and what you are. You've got, sort of lose your identity. And really, I think that's what I what happened to me. I just didn't know who I was. I couldn't really, um, I couldn't accept that I had to grow up and be an adult. And I couldn't really. And I think things went wrong and instead of like lots of people either turn to drink or turn to drugs or whatever, I mean with me it was food. I just sort of, it was really, you live on your nerves and I think I just stopped eating. And you couldn't eat? I couldn't eat. And what, that was it. <laughs> what weight was your lowest weight? Did you weigh? I went to four stone. <laughs> four stone? Yeah. My goodness me. Well, yeah, I'm only, uh, I'm four foot, well, I went to... <laughs> I shouldn't have Listen, said Listen, there's that. no such thing as a, as a big diamond, um, you know. A big midget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, from four stone, here you are on the way back. And I think that by coming on tonight and, and fighting it and obviously beating it, because... You're enjoying being here now. I can see it in your eyes. I am actually. Good. Right, but there may be a lot of youngsters out there yeah. who well, you're helping tonight and say, yeah. well, if Lena can do it, I can. The thing is, I mean, nobody can say to somebody, you know, this is, br this is right and this is what you have to do and this, this is the way you have to be because if you're in that state, you just don't listen. You've got to just come to terms with it yourself. I mean, people can help you, but it's really you. It's you that's got to say to yourself, I am wrong. You've got to admit it. And that's it. Um, you know? Would you give any advice to the parents? Sure, it's they're... very difficult for parents and difficult for people around them because it's, it's something, as I say, it's something they've got to come to terms with themselves. Mm. They've got to actually turn around and listen to the nearest person to them and listen to them mm -hmm. and, and just kind of let it sink in and know what they're doing is wrong well, you may be it's, it's easier said than done but by you saying that someone who's been there and come back yeah. and come back delightfully yeah. i'm glad you came back here tonight uh, and well, keep on I'm coming back well. lena zavaroni ladies and gentlemen